Okay, so before I get started with this next episode, there is something that I want to quickly point out. I actually didn't notice this until close to midnight of when this part of the recording is going up. My Pokemon from off-screen training have actually not been gaining experience at all. And I was all like, how is that even possible? Do I have to re-download the entire thing? Turns out, I don't need to. A big special credit goes to Tip Brock. Tip Brock was able to find an action replay code that will help me regain my ability to gain experience points. So a big special shout out to Tip Brock. Thank you so much. And the place where you can find that very code if you are playing this emulator, click on the link in the description below and it will take you straight into the place where you will find the specific code. Scroll all the way down, hit on the comment section, and that will be the first thing that you should be seeing. So anyway, with all that said and done, Q intro. Hey everybody, it's the D-Rock 100. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black in the last episode. We started off with this venture with a bang with Snivy, which I named Salazar. And I got two more Pokemon. One of them is a Lillipop that became my next member of my team. In this episode, we are going to be heading north from Route 1. But anyway, off screen, I did some leveling up after finally he taking care of the whole experience not working crap and also from off screen we just switch around uh sows are learned vine whip and i actually didn't notice this from before but the leap up has the ability picked up a very good ability if you ask me okay so now excuse me michelle patrat i really have no quarrel to deal with you right now so please, step out of the way, or I will have Salazar here he whip you with one of its vines. Thank you. Derek, are you going to compare yourself with Bianca? Both Bianca and I have two Pokemon with us. Okay. How about it, Derek? Do you want to compare which one of us has the most Pokemon with him? Sure. Wow, three? That's awesome. Are you excited to have that many Pokemon with you? Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you found and how many you've caught. I'm off to Accumulate Town. The professor is waiting. Hello? Hello? How is everybody doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Oh, Professor! Right now I'm in front of Accumulate Town's Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around, so hurry on over, everyone. Okay, the po Pokemon Center. Right. Okay, see you. Well, I'm going on ahead. Of course. Okay. Welcome to Akima Town. So let's go ahead and talk to the professor. Ah, Derek, there you are. Traveling with your Pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer. Please follow me. I'd like to show you the most important place for a trainer to know. Okay. This is a Pokemon Center. Don't you feel better as soon as you step through the door? Okay, let's start our tour. Ooh, wait for me. A Pokemon Center is a truly incredible place. Do you know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed. And what's more, it's absolutely free. A Pokemon Center is a trainer's best friend. Here, Derek, give it a try. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you for waiting. You restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Okay, now that your Pokemon are rested, I'll show you how to use the PC at the Pokemon Center. This is the PC. It's free for any trainer to use. You can store Pokemon in your PC boxes or select Pokemon stored in your PC boxes to take along with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. In addition, you can catch a new Pokemon while you have six Pokemon traveling with you. The Pokemon you just caught is sent automatically to the PC network. Surprising, isn't it? Amazing, even. 
Here's something else that's cool. If you select my PC, I'll evaluate the progress you've made on your Pokedex. Professor, it says someone's PC on the screen. Who is someone? Very good, Bianca. That's a great observation. Good question, and I'd like to say more. But for now, just ignore that and go ahead and use the PC. Someone is the person who made the Pokemon Storage system. Someone I'm sure you'll meet someday. Okay, let's move on. Now, this is the Pokemart. This is the place to buy useful items and sell the ones you don't need anymore. That gentleman over there will help you with a smile. So, let's wrap this up. I've given you the basics of being a trainer. I'm going to head back to New Vama Town. One final thing. When you get to Stryton City, go and meet an inventor named Finale. She's a friend of mine from long ago, and I'm sure she'll help you on your way. Best of luck. I hope that your journeys will improve to be the adventurous Adventure of a lifetime. Oh, what should I buy? Potions and Pokeballs are definitely important. I'm thinking. Oh boy. That's Bianca. Okay. I am going to stock up on her a couple more Pokeballs. And cool thing is, we get ourselves a Premier Ball uh, from the start. I'm gonna go ahead and buy you some potions. At least save uh, some money for later on. Now, what do you have over here? Mail. Nothing but mail. Nothing useful. Mails are not needed at all. Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a little look-see. Huh, you're like me. I say, let's have a little look-see. Derek, come here a sec. My name is Getsis. I am here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subjects into the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there's no truth in what I'm saying? Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. We are living beings that contain unknown potential. There are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn? Tell me, what is our responsibility towards these wonderful beings called Pokemon? That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. Your Pokemon. Just now it was saying. Slow down, you talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is Ed. My name is Sharon, and this is Derek. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? So, you're going to confine many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that then. I'm a trainer too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Voltaric, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. And we start off with a fight against N. N will only have one Pokemon on his team. And that will be a Purloin, level 7, pure dark type, unburdened for the ability, with Scratch and Growl. That's its only moves that it has. 
Don't underestimate this thing though. This thing can be tricky. And it somehow has a lot of good physical defense. More. Let me hear the voice of your Pokemon. I'll give you more. Okay. I really like that how they made that. <laughs> Such a nice sound. There we go. There we go. I never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. As long as Pokemon are confined to Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. I wonder why a lot of fangirls can't get enough of him. Huh. Strange guy. You're telling me. But I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Stryton City. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for our trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Like I said, this game is pretty much just going from point A to point B. So... There's that. Okay. So, there's not a whole lot we could do here in Akimula Town. I mean, we could do a little looking around. There's a couple of items over there. Okay. I need to change something on here. Hang on. Oh, hey, hey. Dude, not done yet. There we go. Okay. So, we have this house up here with this interest nice scenery for the place. Alright. Oh, nice. Wow, they really did up the beat on that, and I love that. Okay. Um, who are you? Let me give you the benefit of my experience. You listening? The number of Pokemon you could take with you at one time is six. Tell me something that I didn't know. Okay. What's this? Sunny? Uh, no it's not. It's the... It's practically the middle of the night. Okay. So coming here on route... Tear... Derek, it's your mom. How are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I need to talk to you, so I called. But I'm going to hang up. It's Transceiver now. Derek? I finally caught up with you. And look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper said that you were probably heading for Stryington City by now. I have another present for you. She gives us the running shoes. Woohoo! Okay. When you wear the running shoes, you can... Go anywhere in a flash. Okay, yeah. Pretty much all we need to do is just hold down the B button, or I guess in my case, X. And then we could just run around like nobody's business. Who are you? Okay. Got ourselves a potion right here, and we struck a pose. <laughs> and now that we're coming out here, I guess I could go ahead and cover the one new Pokemon that you can find out here, and that is Purloin. Um, Purloin is kind of a fast Pokemon. It's not bad, not great. Personally, I think there's some better Pokemon out there. Um, it does evolve pretty early at level 20. I'm not going to cover the evolution for that one, but we'll be able to find that in the wild later on. Um, even if, when it's fully evolved, it's not really that good. It's kind of a glass cannon, really, so I suggest be careful on how you're going to battle with this thing. Trying to catch another trainer's eye at the start of a battle. Oh, this will be fun. Youngster Jimmy. Is his last name Neutron? <laughs> okay. So, as you can tell uh, by the looks of the clock right there, this is actually being recorded at close to 1 o'clock in the morning. Mostly due to the fact that 
these next couple of days, I am not going to have any time with doing any actual recordings because my father works at home and he usually uses my uses the basement down here where I do my recordings and it's going to be occupied for quite a while. So that's why I'm doing these recordings at the dead of night. Back where I can actually be free of doing this. Ooh, bingo and bite. Go bingo. What? You are too strong. Nah. I'm just more experienced. Um, let's... Give me a potion. Alright. Oh, wait, were you holding an item? Okay, no, you wasn't. Okay, um, I don't think that trainer over there is a. Is one. Your Pokemon don't have enough energy to fight, just walk on the road. Alright. Ah! Didn't know you were a battle. Oh! You're cute Pokemon, eh? Let's see how cute. Well, it does pull off the cube very nicely. But the question is. How is it in battle? Let's give Bite a chance to shine. Since we just got it. Not even a flinch. Frig. Okay. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Well, good going, bingo. Okay. Is though it lost... It's still really cute. Yeah, well... It also depends on how well you use it. Here we go. I'm gonna switch my team around. And unfortunately, we might have to run into another Pokemon out here. Or not. But since we're now up here, let's get these two items. Got another potion right here. And I believe over here... is a Pokeball! Alright. It looks like it could be cut down, but we can't go that way yet. Oh, hi, Derek! Oh, boy. Hey, listen! Let's have a Pokemon battle! Please? The Pokemon con has become a little stronger. Ready or not, here I come! What is this, hide-and-go-seek? Ugh. I'm terrible at that game. Either way. Uh, Bianca here. She has two Pokemon on her team. First one's gonna be Lillipup, level 6 in pure normal type, final spirit for the ability. So Leer, Taco, and Odor Sleuth. It's actually not a bad Pokemon. Oh. Both my Pokemon are going to give it our all. Alright. Do that. Uh-oh. Uh, uh Salazar's not looking too good. Okay. Alright. Her last Pokemon, Oshawott. Level 7, pure water type, torn for the ability. Tackle, tail, whip, and water gun. If you start up with Snivy. If you start up with a Tepig, he will, she would have a Snivy. Uh, level 7, grass type, overgrowth for the ability. With Tackle, Lear, and Vine Whip. Or if you start it off with an Oshawott, she would have a Tepig. Level 7, pure fire type, blaze for the ability. Tackle, tail whip, and ember. Okay. There we go. Oh, I couldn't win. Oh well. Woohoo! You are a tough cookie, Derek. I'm gonna work on on training my Pokemon so we won't lose anymore. Okay, bye bye. Uh, where are you going? The Pokemon Center is this way. Ugh. Anyway, um, I don't want to come here later. Okay. I'm going to heal really quick. At least we made it to Stryington City, so that was my only goal for this episode. So I guess I could go a little bit further. It's a good thing I planned ahead for this. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Now before we go anywhere else, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna talk to this guy. Poke me fun in dark places too. That's when a dusk wall can do the trick. Here's one for you. He, he gives us a free dusk ball. 
This thing has a, I have to believe it, three times multiplier in the night. And in caves. That is a good thing to have. Alright, so out here in the Dream Yard. Uh, the Dream Yard out here has only one new Pokemon at this very moment. And that is Muna. Muna is the very first psychic type that we can obtain. It's more of a... I kind of want to see more of a defensive kind of Pokemon rather than a decent special attacker. Like many psychic types. Um, It's alright, I guess. It's not bad. Not great. But personally, I think there's some better psychic types out there. Even if when you can find it's an evolution later on in the wild, it's still not a very good Pokemon. Alright, um... Now, I'm, there are a couple more Pokemon that we can find out here later on, but I'm actually going to save that until after the gym. Because I'm actually running a little bit low on time, and so... I want to end things off pretty quickly, so I can get some sleep, and be prepared for a long shift until the closing ship, which ends at 1.15 in the morning. And hopefully I'll be awake to do another recording. What am I talking about? Of course I'll be awake. I'm a night owl after all. And wow, this thing's giving me problems. My tank is like almost depleted. And there we go. Talzar's now is at level 10. And it learned rap. Nice. Ooh, another purloin. Alright, uh, bingo! Come on up, boy. Okay. Um, let's go for a tackle. Whoa. We'll just get through this and call it a day. Or I guess in this case, call it an evening. There we go. Atta boy, bingo. Atta boy. Great, you have a talent as a trainer. Well, thank you. Okay. Um, that is actually going to be it for the duration of this episode. Um, I know it seems a little bit short, but I don't want to get into too far into this because I would like to save another required fight that's coming up and the gym in the next episode. Right, so anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and end things off right here. We made it into the Dream Yard after looking around Akimo Town and making our way to Stryton City. See you guys then. The next episode coming tomorrow night.